I'm, I'm guessing that you would you'd have a, a, a good sense whether the horse is enjoying this process or you're pushing the pushing the horse too far or you need to back off or something that I have no idea how you would have I'm, I'm guessing as you work with these animals you get that sort of sensibility mm. yeah. well and it, and if you're not then it's really a clinical issue because if it's if it's not something that's good for your horse then what you're doing is you're teaching your client relationship principles that are just going to cause some more problems mm. Mm. Yeah, and in the work I do, we talk about sensitive observation a lot, and it's no different um, with the horses. I, I would obviously, I mean, it, it's obvious. Yeah. In thematic work, right? We talk about tracking in the body, right, and, and being able to track in your own body, and as a therapist, you're tracking in your client's body, and really, mm. we're teaching our clients to do the same thing for the horse. And right. we, we're doing it's this, it's typically a very slow process where we're watching every little piece, and horses are really notorious for, you know, I think the, the greatest issue we have in the horse world is horses that are dissociative because of the way that human beings have trained them to be, be compliant, they're appeasing, they're dissociative, they're shut down and they're checked out. And that, that is not what we, that's not the kind of horse that we want in sessions. Um, and so we spend a lot of time helping people learn how to notice that and how do you help bring your horse back, right? The same things you need right. to do to help a client with those issues, we have to do for our horses as well. Well, if you want to know more about the science of psychotherapy, come across to our website, thescienceofpsychotherapy.com, and our podcast of the same name, and learn more about the science of you.